So what you see here is a human worker. And this is a 2019 robot from China. You can either say we will get replaced by robots or we can coexist with robots that help us on a daily basis. There's a lot of talk these days about the bleak future of employment. Claims that robots will steal all the jobs are a commonplace in the media and across news websites. During my visit on the MWC 2019, I found a company that made the technology possible to finally create some robots that really have the potential to not replace but also help humans. So let's see how close they really are. So we all have seen it in movies like iRobot, where they predict that in the future we'll have robots that look very close to humans and can also act the same way like we do. In the past years we have just seen some clunky prototypes which have some really rough and unprecise movements. However, there is one company that has managed to change all that. I myself studied mechanical engineering and I'm actually very very interested in this topic of so-called humanoids. Building humanoid robots that can do useful things in the real world and not just research labs is very very difficult and also expensive. I think you guys all remember Pepper. Pepper was the world's first social humanoid robot that was able to recognize faces and basic human emotions. Pepper was optimized for human interaction and is able to engage with people through conversations and his touchscreen. So in order to make a robot that acts and works like a human, you need some very sophisticated joints which have all been made possible by Infos. They have made a new robot which is called the XR1, which takes advantage of the so-called SCA, which stands for Smart Compliant Actuator. The Infos SCA is an intelligent, highly integrated and advanced servo system with flexible and safe control. It highly integrates the core components of server motor, server drive, reducer and encoder. Its volume is only one tenth of a traditional servo system under the same performance and they are also available in different sizes with different power and torque. The problem with robots in the past was that their actuators were actually really rough and too big with too many wires and also not strong enough. But this SCA is a revolutionary breakthrough compared to traditional robotic actuation. I personally think it's very interesting, as it makes the safe usage of service robots possible, as they now can act exactly the same like humans. The problem is that you need a lot of degrees of freedom. For instance, the XR1, the new robot, has 34 in total, with 3 in the neck, 4 in the shoulder, 4 in the elbows, 6 in the wrists, 10 in the fingers, 3 in the waist, 1 on the knee and 3 for the chassis. And this has been made possible by the integrated high performance actuator from Infos. At their booth, they showed their robots, which had different names as they were programmed for different tasks. One task showed how a robot could be a waiter and serve a drink. It was really impressive because I was standing next to it and I just said, hey, bring me the water, and the robot gave me the bottle. Also there was another robot that was serving coffee, from a coffee machine. I've seen various robotic arms serving stuff, but they're mostly not humanoids and that's the big difference. In order to have a real looking hand that really works like a human hand, you need to have a lot of tiny actuators and that's what Infos basically made possible with the smallest SCAs. That's really impressive. Further, they also showed a dance show where the robot really moved like humans to a soundtrack in real time due to the power of AI. So right now the robots are on a base with wheels, but they told me that they will soon have some full humanoids with beautiful legs that operate like humans and this is really crazy. These intelligent service robots are now widely used in companies, health facilities, homes and other environments. But in order to create a secure and intelligent interaction between machines and humans, service robots must be controlled according to the rules. So some real use cases are right now. Receptionists, introducing robots, guiding robots, elderly care, product promotion under different scenarios and to improve the life quality of people from different aspects. But guys, now you will ask, how does it work? Well, the robots have a microphone built in, so you can basically see their smartphone in the middle and you can talk to the robot. With the help of AI technology, the robot is then processing what you're saying and reacting to your needs. In its heart, it's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon mobile processor and the NVIDIA TX2 AI processor. The operating system is, so far as I know, a combination of Linux, RS and Android. So the only thing that needs to be solved and improved from my point of view in the future is the battery life. 
Right now it comes with a 36 volts battery with 40 amp hours, which needs less than 4 hours of manual charging, but it can also just use a little bit longer than 8 hours. So for a regular workday, the battery life would be okay, but for real human replacements, I think it needs a little bit more. Claims that robots will steal our jobs are a commonplace, but I personally think that humans will find themselves working side by side with robots in the industry, rather than being replaced by them. I also talked to one of their team, and they told me that Info's R&D team was founded in 2011 and has been focusing on development of smart compliant actuators for high performance robots for many years. It's very impressive what they have invented in the recent years, and really excited on what they will release in the future. Because maybe the day will come where humans get partly replaced by robots, and Infos started to bring this technology to the masses.